What's going on guys, this is Ken. In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite 5 new features on Android 4.2. So Android has recently updated to the newest firmware which is Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. And I just want to share with you some of my favorite new features on my Nexus 7. So let's get started. The first new feature that I want to share with you is the new lock screen widgets. So in my lock screen, I can scroll left to see different widgets that I have on my lock screen. So this is the Gmail widget. I can interact with all these widgets. So in my Gmail widget, I can scroll down to see different emails. And for my calendars, I have no recent events. I can also scroll left one more time to add more widgets. Unfortunately, there are only three widgets. The three widgets are calendar, email, and clock. So I wish that they would add more widgets in the future. The next feature that I want to share with you is the new design of the clock. As you can see, the clock looks a lot different and looks very simplistic, just like the previous one. I can tap on the clock to see the clock app, and inside the clock app and also on the lock screen, the font of these numbers changed. The user interface in the clock app also changed by a lot. As you can see, this is the countdown timer and I can set the timer, and this has a really nice animation for counting down. Very similar to the analog clock on the home screen, it has a circle right around it and looks pretty nice. The next feature is the new notification center toggles. So basically, I can scroll down on the left side to see all my notifications. On the right side, I can slide down my finger to see all these useful toggles. So I can change the brightness, access settings, turn on or off my Wi-Fi, auto-rotate to see my battery, airplane mode, and toggle on and off Bluetooth. So this is a very useful feature. You don't have to go to settings every time to change different settings on your device. The next feature is a pretty cool one. This is gesture typing. I can swipe on the keyboard to type different sentences or different words. As you can see, I just typed a sentence and now I'm gonna type what is the weather in New York City. In my opinion, this works better on smaller screen devices or Android phones, for example, the new Nexus 4 or the Samsung Galaxy Nexus because you can use your thumb to type but on the Nexus 7, I actually have to put it down on the table and have to use my index finger to swipe to type these sentences. And as you can see, I have successfully typed my complete sentence. So that was gesture typing. The last feature that I'll be showing you today is Daydream. To set this up, just go to Settings, Display, and go to Daydream. So this basically performs a screensaver-like function on your device. Well, I can't really say it's a screensaver because it doesn't really save battery on your screen. It actually drains a little bit of battery, but it's a pretty cool feature on Android 4.2. So basically how this works is if your device is inactive for a few minutes, it will start daydreaming. So this is the photo slideshow of daydream. So this can act like a digital photo frame. You can put it on the table or on the dock and it will just do a slideshow of the photos. You can also choose when to open daydream while charging or while docked. So the photo slideshow is my favorite part about Daydream. So there you have it, that was my five favorite features on Android 4.2. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're wondering why I didn't include Photosphere, that is because my Nexus 7 doesn't support it because it doesn't have a rear facing camera. If my Nexus 7 does have a rear facing camera, I would include that feature in this video. If you want to know more about Photosphere, just go ahead and Google search Photosphere and find out more information about this new feature on Android 4.2. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more future videos and don't forget to follow me on Twitter at KinFilmsHD. I'll see you guys in my next video.